We are done the hackathon. Uh, it's eight o'clock right now. We finished at 4 p.m. on the dot. I stopped working. Um, I think we got from a progress perspective uh, from yesterday, uh, really it was focusing on the report, pulling everything in. I think we started working at around one. Uh, by the time we finished breakfast, and kind of got starting, maybe it was 12.30. We had three and a half hours of work. Um, <clears throat> Pleasant surprise this morning, I found a coffee shop that was open. I was able to get my groceries done, laundry started and hung. So I did a little bit of um, my like admin stuff. Um, but yeah, I think overall, really happy with where we got. Our report, I would say is about 50, 60% of the way there. Uh, we just need to pull some more stuff in and maybe put some final edits on it, which usually takes way more time than anyone ever thinks. Uh, the presentation, we have like the framework at least, we have the outline of what things are gonna look like. So I think overall, I think you know the hard work is done. At this point we can pick away at things uh, and I'm really, really pleased. Uh, for today specifically, um, we felt very focused. I think both of us, I think, felt focused. There was a good like pressure of this has to get done by, by 4 p.m. And so I think there was a lot more like check-ins, like every half hour is like, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And very, it was very concrete, the task that I had to get done. And there were a couple of times that I wanted to dive into formatting um, reports and like making things pretty. And I was like, I only have 20 minutes left. Uh, what's the minimum that I would have to do to feel like I can still um, feel like this is complete 20 minutes from now. So I think that pressure was really good and having more check-ins was, was great logistics wise. I think everything, you know, no big changes from the other day. Um, on the whole, as an overview, um, I think some of the things that we talked about that we might want to try to do differently next time is uh, like realizing somehow, and I don't know how, but somehow realizing earlier uh, the moments when we're like problem solving in a way that we should just say, fuck it and move on and like do something differently or give up on something. I think it's tough to not want to drive and kind of grind in that space, um, especially when it's not adding like uh, learning value. If you're not gaining something from it and it's just the grind of working through, then yeah, finding some way, and I don't know the answer, but finding some way to recognize that's happening and saying, nope, move on, let's do something else. Um, I think, uh, yeah, Victor was saying one of the things that he liked is just like seeing the Rastaman, the, the, the database we were working with actually work. Um, just like, you know, learning about it and seeing the cool things that it can do. Um, I think he got a, uh, a kick out of uh, doing really um, like inefficient coding, um, but it still worked really, really well and really quickly. The queries with Rastaman were super fast when we used them. Um, so I think that was, uh, he was pretty pleased with how that worked. Um, on my end, one thing I want to improve on is, or that I felt, um, yeah, I'd like to improve on on the whole for like days one and two, is that hourly check-in. Um, and specifically, um, I think on day one, uh, our last sprint was like a five hour sprint. And I think, you know, we set some goals for the five hours, but it was obvious they weren't gonna be met and you just kind of let it happen. And so if I did it again, I'd want to have one hour shorter sprints um, with not like a huge debrief and a huge plan, but just like what's the next, you know, two tasks you're going to get done in this hour. Um, and I think that keeps that kind of artificial pressure on to keep things moving forward. Um, one thing that I really liked was our breakfasts. Um, I mean, it was just cool to have breakfast together with someone uh, cooking uh, in two people. Uh, you know, as we do pair programming, I think pair cooking is the way to go because then you can both cook and clean at the same time. I mean, all you're doing is cracking a couple more eggs. It's not that much more work to do, um, but I really enjoyed our nice slow breakfasts. Um, the whole thing was really chill, not stressful. Fruit, I've mentioned a couple times, was really good. I feel like I rediscovered fruit for my life. Um, great, great snack, I think, uh, for a day to like not crash, um, but still feel like a, a bit of a pick-me-up. Um, I think on the whole, having a weekend booked off was amazing for focus time. Um, there's no context switching. There's no, you know, I'm just gonna go grocery shopping now and then come back and study again. It just doesn't happen. So having a whole chunk of time that was blocked off, dedicated for this, I've cleared my schedule. I know I'm not missing anything. I don't have to look at my phone. I'm not checking messages. Um, and even just like communicating to the world, hey, 
I'm busy, you won't get a hold of me. Uh, it just felt good to not not feel any external kind of calls uh, or external, I don't know, distractions in any way. So that was, that was for me really, really helpful. Uh, I feel like we made a conscious choice to say no to everything else that wasn't this project. And we did that a week ago. So I think that was the huge help in all of this. Um, would I do it again? 100%. I think this was a fantastic use of time. Um, is and it was fun. Like it was just fun to like be in it and be focused on it. Um, I think you can get more learning. Uh, I think you lose less kind of memory of what you're doing. You don't have to get back into something. You don't have to like relearn what you were working on two weeks ago. Um, yeah, and I think this is one of those weekends that I'll probably remember for the rest of my life. Uh, I remember doing a startup weekend. I don't know, let's just say more than five years ago, and I still remember to this day. There's a, a level of intensity and there's a level of like, I don't know, there's just a, it, it really, it's a very uh, poignant kind of chapter in in uh, a life that's otherwise kind of day in, day out. And it's felt very not day in, day out for stuff that with school can feel like it's day in, day out. So I was really, really happy with how the whole thing went. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one, actually. I think... Uh, I think this worked well and I'll, I'll definitely be repeating it again. So no, it's good.